some fans that are happy, but I think he's lost the majority. The Blues cascading down from the Pocono race fans today. Denny Hamlin got his first win here. Win number 50 in his career here and win number 600 for Toyota. Well, the talk will be about the move with Kyle Larson and running him up on that restart. And he did he have a right to be mad at you? But both, both guys wrecked themselves. Uh, they were the lane. Uh, he, he missed the corner first. And evidently, he didn't have his right stock tires clean, and when he gassed up, he just kept going again. Um, you, know, you, you, have a, you have an option in those positions to, you know, to either hold a wide open and hit the fence, or you know, lift and, and race it out. But uh, you know, those are choices they made. I, I didn't hit either one of them. I didn't touch them. On a monumental day for you, win number 50, what does it mean to do it, A, here, but B, with all the booze from the fans at one of your favorite places? I love it. I love it. Uh, they, they can boo my rock out here in a few years. <laughs> How improbable at times today did, he, did this win, win seem to you? Well, I thought we had the best car, honestly. We had the best car. The strategy worked out well. Uh, Chris just kept getting me more towards the front. Um, just winners here at Pocono and all-time greats get a rock here just outside the garage area. He'll probably have that Sunday. Now it's the all-time winner at Pocono with seven, but this is not a popular win with the fans here in Pocono, Rick. Not at all, and they are voicing their opinion on how they feel like he was able to get this win. Well, it is win number 50, and it comes with an incredible career, a Hall of Fame career for Denny Hamlin, which really uh, may have been thrust into the spotlight at Pocono when he won his rookie season here, swept that year. Three. He's won Daytona 500s, and now seven times in Pocono, 50 wins on the career for Denny Hamlin.